Hey, Ark of New Jersey, it's Matthew Locasio back with another weekly edition of helpful exercises and health tips for you guys. I hope you are all having a wonderful week. Um, I've been doing a lot of training lately for golf. A lot of my clients this time of year uh, get back into golf and we have to do a lot of golf exercises, a lot of golf stretches. Uh, I realize all of you out there might not be big, the biggest golfer. Some of you, like myself, who don't like the sport because you're always scared you're just going to hurt someone with your slice. But I use golf exercises now for all my clients because as it turns out, strangely enough, golf exercises are some of the best range of motion exercises you can do to help stretch out the body, strengthen it, and give you great overall balance and range of motion. So... Uh, we're going to go over three exercises today that are golf-specific exercises that work for everyday life. Now, I've got this ball with me that I'm going to go through with the first one, but if you don't have a ball, you can just use your hands. Um, really, these exercises can be done with no weight whatsoever. They're just strictly range of motion, which is what you should be focusing on at home. Don't worry about how many you can do. Worry about your balance and worry about trying to get the best range of motion. And over time, that should improve. Uh, as always with any of these exercises, Art, please, 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 please don't do them if you don't feel safe and comfortable doing them. That's what we're here for. We're here to help. You can contact us with any questions you have. Uh, to make sure you're doing these exercises right, the exercises we do on Friday, or anything you're doing health and wellness-wise, we'd love to help you. 908-875-3241 uh, is the phone number. Info at in-home trainer Matt is the email. And in-home trainer Matt through the contact portal. So, without further ado, here is the first one we are going to do. And as you can see, this one's easy to tell why it's a golf exercise. So I'm gonna use the ball for this, but if you don't have a ball, you can just put your hands together and do it at home like this. So what we're gonna do, if you do have a ball, you're gonna grab it, you're gonna start on one hip and you're gonna raise up and across the body. See, we're rotating using those oblique muscles and the hips, that's right here, boom, 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 to come from this down position near my right hip and come across the left shoulder. Let's show you a few from the side here. Just like that. I would say shoot for six to 10 on one side. Take a second. Then put the ball on the opposite hip, and same thing. Just rotate up. Yes, I know in golf, you only use one side. Not too many ambidextrous golfers, I don't think, but we're using this for real life function, which means we have to work both sides of the body. Can't just be one. And honestly, it's better to do that. Even if it's golf specific, we always do that anyway. Up and across, up and across. Again, now we're going left hip towards right shoulder. Nice and slow. Actually, I have to slow myself down there. You get in a groove and you want to go faster. But remember, nice and slow is the way we work those obliques and work, work those hips properly. Okay, so that's the first one, guys. And again, remember, please remember at home, you don't need the ball for that one. You can just go... Nice and slow, just like that. If you do golf, try and mimic your swing a little bit, and then you'll get a nice um, cross-use pattern of stretching out and finding a rhythm in your golf swing and also getting the same benefits of the exercises uh, that we're doing, the, just the range of motion and natural strength that comes with it. So. Uh, the next one, you're going to see a theme here. We're going to go right hand, 
Keep the knees slightly bent, right hand towards left leg, raise up, but we're gonna follow the hand and rotate with the hand. We're gonna do one side at a time. So come down and now follow eyes with the hand. Come across almost like you're waving, but we wanna follow it with our hands. Again, feet a little more than shoulder width apart. You might not even see them on here, which is good because I'm not wearing socks. Uh, just come down to where you feel comfortable. You don't have to touch your foot and then raise up. Again, following your hand with the eyes, that's going to make you naturally rotate and use those obliques and hips properly here. Nice. And now let's do the other side. Same exact thing. Again, just go down to where you notice I'm not even touching my foot here. So don't overextend. Go to where you feel comfortable and then raise up. And ah, nice. Great job, guys. Again, we're following that rotational pattern, getting those obliques, those hips involved. You should feel them working in there. They might even be a little sore the next day, but you should also feel a nice overall stretch throughout here and throughout your lower back, which is really being released by that movement. Um, so the final one we're gonna do, as I move my ottoman out of the way, we're going to stand, I'm gonna put my left foot in front, my right foot is back, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to reach my right hand through my legs, so knees slightly bent, the opposite hand, people always ask with this exercise, what do I do with my opposite hand? Just leave it on your knee. Do whatever you want with it. Snap your fingers, do jazz hands, as long as it's not in the way. Bring the right arm through, and now we're gonna do that same exact thing where we follow our eyes with our hands. But notice I'm not coming up, I'm not going like this. I'm keeping my head down, I'm keeping my body down, I'm just rotating and following my hands with my eyes. See that? Nice and small, um, nice and uh, smooth through the legs. Make sure you got oh, through the legs, that's half the battle. <sighs> Breathe out and rotate up. And guys, this is tough balance wise, this exercise. So if you feel unstable doing it, don't do it, be cautious or do it up against something so you know you won't fall. But please, when you do this exercise, be very cautious about the balance factor. Again, my left foot's forward, my right foot's back. It's almost like a quarter of a lunge. And then we're bringing the hand through and rotating up, but staying down at the same time, which is the tough part. You should feel it in the same place as you felt the first two. May just be a little more intense. And now the opposite side. So now we go right foot forward, left foot back, slight bend in the knees, left arms going through the legs now. Now, you might notice a very distinct difference on one side of your body from the other balance-wise. So again, you might have felt smooth and comfortable Going right arm through, this may be a lot tougher. So just keep that in mind. Again, be cautious and be safe doing it. Through the leg, left arm goes through the leg with the right foot forward. Rotate up, following with the eyes. Rotate to where you feel comfortable again. Even if you can only get this far, that's fine. Over time, you'll go higher up. Just don't overstretch and hurt yourself. Follow with the eyes, nice and smooth, not too fast. A 
Let's do two more. And last one. Beautiful. There you go, guys. Three exercises, all using the same kind of rotation. We're all going diagonally across the body there or rotating upwards, but still using those obliques to move for movement there. Again, releasing that lower back should help stretch out that lower back, which is great for everyone. Strengthening the hips, abs, obliques area. Even the chest, you'll notice expansion as you get those arms out further. The upper back, you know, it really unlocks everything, guys. So, yes, it's golf-specific movement, but yes, it's also awesome and great for everyday life. Again, guys, if you have any questions about those exercises, feel free to contact us at IHT 908-875-3241 info at inhometrainermat.com is the email inhometrainermat.com through the contact portal is the website don't contact me about golf though if you need golf advice i'm not your guy unless you need to learn how to shoot 42 over on the front nine if that's what you want then come to me if you need golf exercises or stretches or any help with those things or any exercises i'm your guy Anything about becoming a better golfer? Not your guy. Not your guy. <laughs> Have a wonderful day, Art. I will see you guys on Friday. Yes. It's my week. We'll be back in action. Looking forward to it. Have a great day. And I'll see you guys this Friday. I think I will. I think I do. I'm pretty sure I do. Have a great day, Art.